Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at changing the subject of a formula, and we're going to also be incorporating forming expressions from areas of rectangles. So this is quite an interesting question, and if you want to pause the video and have a go, please feel free to do so. Before we actually get started, I'm just going to show you where you can go about finding more topics or more videos related to this topic from right inside the video. Okay, so when you're on one of these videos, if you click into the description and you scroll down in the description, you'll see right at the top there, you've got a video with the five hardest topics on paper three. If you scroll down a little bit further, you can download my checklists and practice booklets for this exam. Just below that, you'll have the whole series, obviously at the moment, this is the first one coming out, so it's not quite filled in yet, but you'll have the whole series of questions that I'm gonna be uploading in the lead up to the exam. Just below that, you have the series of exam revision videos. Obviously, we're focusing on paper three now, so we're going to be looking at those paper three videos for foundation or higher. You can also find those in the playlists. So that's how we go about using this video. And right at the bottom, you'll see that for some of them, I'll put some timestamps in, but down the bottom there, you have topics featured in this video. So I'll link all the appropriate videos for this topic or for whichever topic we're looking at right inside the video. So hopefully that's useful and helpful. We've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. Okay, so looking at this question, it says the diagram shows two rectangles, A and B. And you can see the lengths of the rectangles there, and we have some expressions on the side lengths. It says all measurements are in centimetres. The area of rectangle A is equal to the area of rectangle B. Find an expression for Y in terms of W. So to get started then, we want to approach this part. It says the area of rectangle A is equal to the area of rectangle B. So we want to find the expressions for the area of both. So for the area of rectangle A, we would do six multiplied by the length there, which is two W plus Y. For the expression for the area of the other rectangle, we would do seven W multiplied by the three Y plus six. There we go. So they, are, they, are, they would form the expressions for the area. And the question has said they are equal to one another. So we can put an equal sign in the middle. Now all we need to do is we need to get this to a point where it says y equals something. We don't want any y's on the right hand side though. So we want to get all the y's on the left and make sure it's just one y. So to start by doing this, we're going to actually expand these brackets. So if I go about expanding these brackets, let's see what we get. Now 6 times do 2w would give us 12w. And then 6 times y would give us 6y. And there's that one expanded. We're now going to multiply this bracket by 7w. So 7 times 3 gives us 21. You can write these in either order, wy or yw, doesn't really matter. And then plus 7w times 6. And that is going to be 42w. And there we go. There is both of the expressions for the areas equal to one another. So now how are we going to make this y equals? Well, I want to get all of the Y pieces on the left-hand side and all of the W pieces on the other side, so on the right-hand side. Of course, we could move the Ys to the right and Ws to the left. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to choose just to move them to the left. So I'm going to want a minus 12W from the left-hand side, which means I'm also going to want to minus it from the right-hand side. And at the same time, I'm also going to want to minus this 21YW to the left, and minus 21yw from the right. And if we do that in one step, and of course feel free to do that in two steps, just moving one piece at a time, but we would have 6y, which was already on the left, minus 21yw, and that is going to equal whatever we have on the right hand side, which is 42w take away 12w. Now they are both just um, uh, a value of w. So we can actually just subtract them. We don't have to write 42w take away 12w. We can just straight away write 30w. So that's quite nice. Now we have to figure out how we're going to make y 
on its own because there's currently two y's you've got a y here and you've got a y here so to make that into one y we're going to use factorization so all i'm going to do is i'm going to factorize y out of the left hand side and if we do that we're going to have 6 minus 21 w and that is going to equal 30 w and now we're almost done so our final step in order to make y the subject, so it says y equals, is we're just going to divide by the bracket. So I'm just going to divide both sides by 6 minus 21w. And if we do that, our final answer would say y is going to be equal to 30w divided by 6 minus 21w. And also notice I've gotten rid of the brackets there, but you could leave the brackets in. It wouldn't affect your answer. It'd be absolutely fine just to leave your brackets. But there we go, that would give us our final answer. And there is our expression for y in terms of w. And that's what that means. We now know that y is equal to 30w over 6 minus 21w. And that's what it means by in terms of w. So in this question here, we had forming an expression for the area of rectangles. We then had to form our own formula and then we've had to rearrange it and that rearrangement included factorization so that was a harder rearrangement of formulas as well so there's quite a lot of topics involved in this and i will link all of the appropriate topics and all the appropriate videos in the description below so if that was useful and helpful don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you for the next one